Hello everyone, my name is Mason Dannison with the Steuben County Literacy Coalition, and today we will be building a Da Vinci Bridge out of pencils and rubber bands. Let's get to it. So, what exactly is a Da Vinci Bridge? A Da Vinci Bridge is based off of Leonardo da Vinci's design that was made over 500 years ago, in which the bridge is self-supporting and needs no fasteners to hold it together. These bridges can actually hold a surprising amount of weight for how simple they are, as you will see later on in this video. So to start out, you're going to want to be wrapping rubber bands around a pencil. Wait! Before you start this experiment, make sure you get a parent or guardian's permission and have them watch along with you as you complete the experiment. Thanks! Enjoy the rest of the video. Just take any normal wooden pencil and simply wrap a rubber band around the end of it, like so. There are three main types of pencils that we're going to make. We're going to have a support similar to this one, where we want to have a rubber band at the tip, one in the middle, and one at the other end here. These are going to be in the middle that kind of hold most of the bridge together. Our second one is going to be these connecting ones right here that have one rubber band at each end, but none in the middle. And our third rubber band type that we're going to make are the feet for it, in which is just a simply a rubber band at the end, one in the middle, and none at the end here. Let's see how these put together will make a bridge. Start by taking two of these rubber band pencil supports that we've made that have one rubber band in the middle and one at the top. Place them parallel to one another down here. Grab one of your supports that has one at either end but not one in the middle and place it right on top to where these rubber bands are outside of these ones. Next, you're going to take two of these pencil rubber bands that have three rubber bands on them, like so, and simply place them over top like this, so that you have this top rubber band at the, at the top of this middle pencil. Now normally, this is a lot easier when it is done with two people, and you have two sets of hands. So make sure to get a parent or guardian, or have a friend come over, social distance is masked up obviously, and get it done that way. However, it is just me today, so I'm going to try and get this done just by myself. Let's see how that turns out. So after getting to this point where you have these two pencils on top like this, you're going to want to grab another pencil that has a rubber band at either side and simply slide it up underneath. This is normally where you would need an extra set of hands, but I'm going to simply do it by myself by lifting one up very carefully at the time and placing this in between. When you lift this up, you're going to want to simply slide it between the two to where the middle rubber bands of these stop it from sliding down further. And just like that, Technically, this could be considered a complete Da Vinci bridge. It is self-supporting. I can take something a bit heavier, like this speaker, place it on top, and it holds up well, and even push down on it, and it holds up just fine. However, you can, in theory, make this bridge as long or as high as you want. So if we're going to keep going here, we are going to take another set of these pencils right here that have three rubber bands, and place them on top where the rubber band is just at the top of this middle one. We're then going to take another one with these two rubber bands here. Again, this is a lot easier with another set of hands, however it is just me. And again, lift up this one side, slide it in, just like so, so it is on that cusp. And now your Da Vinci bridge is even longer and higher. I'm going to take a set of these other feet pencils where you have one rubber band in the middle one at the top. Place them on the edge, like so. Then, we're going to take another pencil with a rubber band on either end and slide this up here. You're going to want to have these lifted up at the same time so that it's going to go underneath these pencils but over top of these ones that you just placed. And now we have this nice long and high bridge. There's a nice platform at top here, as you can see. Nice platform on top there to place anything you want. And yeah, there's our completed Da Vinci bridge. Again, just like that other one, we can take something like this speaker again, and now it's a little higher up, so it's harder to see here. You simply place it on there, and it holds it no problem. You can hold a surprising amount of weight, and there you are. There you have it, a Da Vinci bridge, which is a pretty cool uh, experiment on self-supporting and how all this fits together. Made with just some pencils and rubber bands, things that you can find right at home. Um, again, I want to make sure, make sure you get your prepared permissions first. This is not the most dangerous experiment. However, just check in, make sure they know you're doing it. We don't want you getting hurt. Again, this is Mason Dannison with the Steuben County Literacy Coalition, and I will see you next week with another experiment.